It's Bella here. I know it's been a really long time since I posted my last video and I just really wanted to apologize because I've been super super busy with my schedule. Um, to be honest, you know, I've just I've been really really tired but I've been praying to the Lord that I could have more time to be able to, be able to focus on the things I've been intending to do and one of them was being able to post regularly. Uh, so I just wanted to give a really big thank you to everyone for all your love and all your support, especially um, since my first testimony video. Just feel super blessed to have all the support that I've been getting from all of you guys. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much for all your kind words and all your uplifting comments. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So I've actually been wanting to share some this video that I recorded with you about a month or two back, and it's. A video that I recorded of one of my favorite places to be and it is my war room aka my prayer closet um, unfortunately I actually don't have this war room anymore because I actually recently moved to a new place but I am working on making a new war room but yeah I've just really been wanting to share with you this with you for the longest time I actually wanted to redo the recording because to be honest the video quality really is really horrible, but I didn't have time to do it, so... Welcome to my war room, you guys. This is a very special place. Um, I typically spend at least an hour in here each day praying. And um, it's very cozy. As you can see, I have a bunch of pillows. I also have this white soft rug. And sometimes it gets drafty, so I just leave a blanket in here. And then if it gets really cold, then I have this little mini heater as well. And not only do I pray in here, but I also like to read my Bible sometimes. Um, this is my lovely Bible. I'm so happy to have this bible it's just i think it's beautiful i love the color my favorite color is blue it kind of reminds me of water and i don't know if it's just me but being in water makes me feel really peaceful another feature that i really love about this bible is you can actually take notes on the side of it which i use a lot <laughs> so i also have these pens and these highlighters here for when i want to write in my bible or just journal and as you can see, I also have this really cool vintage looking clock. I have this rule where I don't bring any distractions in here with me. So that means I do not bring my phone in here or any other electronics. I am strictly um, in here to focus on my time with God. I also have this box here and it says, be still and know that I am God. This is from Psalm 4610. I use it as my prayer box and I keep note cards of different prayers that I've written for all my loved ones. For me, when I pray for someone, it's a really big act of love. I pretty much pray for their healing, their peace, their growth, their joy, their justice. I pray for them to seek and know the love of God. Whatever it is that I feel they really need, I will pray those really big prayers for them. And on the inside of this box, it says, My grace is all you need. Over here, I have this little reminder that it says, Christ is in me, I am enough. I also keep two journals in here. This one on top that says, take me to church. I use it for extra notes when I do my Bible study. I also have this other notebook where I write down all my goals and all my dreams, all my aspirations because I am a very, very big dreamer. And I like to pray on it to make sure that I am in alignment with God's purpose for me. I think my favorite part about the war room is all these lights. I have all these string lights that I got off of Amazon. I will actually link down in this description box below all the items in here if you guys are interested. But yeah, I just love how it gives a really warm and cozy vibe. So this is pretty much it, you guys. It's a very simple space, but I love it so much. 
And my war room is a place where I completely surrender my heart and stand in the gap for others. I also just want to say that God calls us to pray for other people. When we pray for other people, it really f reflects God's own character of outgoing love and mercy. He wants us to think like Him, and so praying for others allows us to think beyond ourselves, to be able to grow in compassion. Again, I'm super sorry for the video quality. I know it's not the best, but I just really been wanting to share it with you. I also highly recommend that you have your own little prayer closet or your own little prayer space. It doesn't have to be a closet, you know, it could be maybe, I know some people pray in their car or even the bathroom or maybe you have a, like a little bench in your house that you could dedicate to, the, to God. Really just any space where you can have an uninterrupted time with Him I think is great to have. So if you do end up having one of your own, then please share it with me. I would love to hear about it. <laughs> I also have an announcement to make. A little while back, I was given the opportunity to be a guest on a podcast and I pretty much shared my testimony on there again, as well as some of the spiritual encounters that um, I went through. And so if you guys are interested, please check, check it out. I will link it down below. Um, I was on Spirit Answers podcast and it is hosted by Alex and he does a really great job at um, pretty much he interviews people who have dabbled with the new age and found their way back to Christianity. People on there pretty much share spiritual encounters that they've had. Yeah, so if you're interested in that, then I highly suggest you check out his work. You can actually find his podcast here on YouTube. If you just type in Spirit Answers podcast, you can find it that way. Or you could also go pretty much on any podcast website and it should be on there as well. But I will, I will put down all the links below if you're interested. So feel free to check it out. And I hope you guys all take care. I hope you guys all have a lovely day. I will hopefully see you soon. All right? God bless you all. Bye-bye.